if you're not playing the actual game fundamentals properly, you're just not going to win. Yeah, this we're not going to see the Ganon. Yeah. We're going to see the Wolf. Uh, sad boys. Good I was definitely hoping to see the Ganon, but good choice though. Good choice. Though. But if he does lose, yeah. I think he actually may go get it. Yeah, intelligent financial decisions for sure on Smok's financial. part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. There's money here. Yeah, if you want to continue to move forward, you know. Uh, th th this was the right call, but we'll see what happens. Uh, he gets the anti-air. Very dead even game so far. Trying to go for the up B as an anti-air as well off a of French shooter. And keep in mind, Link can detonate that at will. <laughs> so that's one thing that, that's, that Smok is going to have to worry about. Oh my god! Ooh, you know he what? Already... I was wondering why he faded back, almost intentionally giving himself up to the down smash. But because he did, the last hit of that up B was able to trade and get himself out. But. Misplaced dare is gonna end up costing him that stock. Down smash is gonna take it. Yeah, no, and I'm wondering, and I'm wondering if that dare was uh, was was intentional. Um, but I do like the the fact that he knew. You you can tell that he knows Link by exactly how he avoided that first down smash, yeah. right? And now he's gonna try. He's he's gonna. He kind of has to like. He's trying to play it a little bit. A bit. Yeah, exactly. He's yeah. trying to play a little bit passive, even while Smock has the lead. Mostly just to try and throw off Smock on his approach game, because if you start going in a little bit too much, you play right into Wolf's wheelhouse. Oh yeah, for sure. And at this point, you know, it, you want to get back by the last stock in this situation. I mean, you know, if you're uh, your two players of relatively equal skill, then the second stock, if you lose the first one, all right, cool. So just kind of just play, play it safe and get that kill when you can. I like that setup out of French Shooter there. Covering, jump with the bomb. So if he went up, he would have been able to trade for him. And then trying to throw out the fear just to track him on his base, but he didn't end up moving close enough. This is a very large lead that Smok's still holding right now, though. Just waiting out the roll, gets the back throw. And sometimes waiting is the best thing you could do. As oh! I like that. That was far. Just get out of there. High enough percent. Problem is, though, no more percent for that stock. Taken away by that up tilt. Hey, Wolf at 101%, man. I know I, I know French Suit is feeling the pressure right now. Man. As, you know, he, he needs to make some adaptations, you know? Smok is kind of just, like, going in, and he's he's, he's getting to do what, what, he, what he wants. Mm -hmm. He's not letting French Suit play his game. And now Smok can start playing a little recklessly, too. You see, well, not so much recklessly. He can play forward now. You see how he's approaching yeah. a bit more? And he can go for one of those suicidal-type plays with the fair into side B, or he could just catch him again on his recovery. Oh, Tries I to like call out to jump with the up air. Yeah. I like the attempt. And you know what the thing is? Smog is actually pay playing, like, he's playing forward, but he's playing patiently forward. All right. Now, that, that was a patience. great answer from French Shooter there. You know, Smock definitely looking for a spot dodge there. But he's like, nah, get away. And finally putting himself on the board. Okay. Oh, I do like the I do like the, the return back mm -hmm. to back air. Uh, French Twitter, I think, I think, I think oh, it was up B that was coming, right? Yeah, also on that point, too, right right where he got hit by that back air, that, his jump was already gone, too. He had just jumped in. So, Smok could have just ran off, did a, a landing nair or something like that, or just a, a nair off stage, and probably gimped him anyways. So, fortunately for French Shooter, kind of got a little bit outplayed in that match, but let's see if he can kind of change it up a bit, maybe slow it down. I love the zoom in that they have here, just to really specify how badly you got destroyed. They know what they did. <laughs> they know what they did. You gotta appreciate House and all their tech. You gotta understand, they give us a lot of goods to play with back here at the stream setup. Like, House we have lit, so much good quality material for uh, the bracket and everything else. And we get to do this all just for you guys in the stream. No, and, well, that was know, a great option right there, going for that that, uh, that bomb. Just to get himself out, just still end up losing the stock, know, anyways. But I wanna point out that Smonk is, uh, Smonk is playing like. Uh, Kind of like a, a Zachary esque style of Wolf, mm -hmm. in the sense that he's really just waiting for his opportunity, and then he's taking every little hit, bit by bit, you know. Yeah. But he's kind of he's not forcing the opportunity. He is he's like waiting for it. Waiting exactly. For it. It's all about not forcing the initiative a lot of times. You know, you get people who overcommit a little bit too much, uh -huh. and it leads to a lot of damage. If your mix-up good uh, game is good, great. But if you're constantly getting hit on your way in, maybe it's the decisions you're making, not so much, oh, my opponent's just pressing a lot of buttons. Usually it's not that. It's usually the fact that you're leaving yourself open. Mm -hmm. Well said, well said. <laughs> oh, great punish. Actually, you know, knowing that uh, the first hit of that up B is actually the most dangerous hit, because mm -hmm. that's the one with the most knockback. So you block that one, you're kind of, yeah, you're, you're okay. Exactly. Great ledge trap coming in here again from uh, Smog. So much damage put on front shooter, but French Shooter answering back as well, catching him with multiple boots. Oh, I like it. Committing to the up B. Very reckless play, but it worked. And yeah. now he's actually brought it back to even. Yeah, because, you know, Smog doesn't expect it. He thinks that at that point he's out of options. So it's just like, oh, there's something that he can hit me with now. And then look at that French Shooter actually doing, oh! Oh, just barely getting uh, out of he there. He jumped too. Yeah, he jumped he, too. He that almost got play. scooped by that. 
Uh, the fair not going to do it just yet. Wide blast zones from Kalos. Definitely going to help out. Even with that nair right there, Smok's still staying alive. Going to air dodge through the bomb. Okay. Oh, Ledstrom not going to do it. But I do like the fact that he is put, uh, putting the pressure on, uh, on Smok off stage. Great up B out of shield. Not going to do it just yet. Yeah, great DI from Smok as well. Keep himself alive. French Shooter starting to get things figured out. Is he going to go for F2 ledge? No. Trying to read a jump. Smok trying to go for the cross up back air. He had the right idea, but the F tilt All is right. going to finally give French Shooter a lead in the set. Now the thing about the thing about it is uh, I think the thing about Wolf at this point is that he's gonna he's gonna have to read a raw up smash or a, a raw smash attack as he just gets pummeled by oh, these. You can items. see that this FD stage uh, like design. Yo, he's French going Shooter in. is picking it up. He's his going item in. play is getting better. He's starting to feel a little bit more confident about the way that he's going for his conversions. Mm -hmm. And now Smok, for the first time so far, has to respect a lot of it. You know, and like I said, and, you know, I want to, I want to roll off what you said with confidence. Confidence is super key, as he just had the confidence to just go out and smack the hell out of him with that fair. Died super early to that very much a replication of the last set. You know, now, the stock now down, French Shooter reversing the entire script, taking two stocks to one instead of for Smock. Okay, and he, this is, he's, he's playing this so well, he is actually just kind of, uh, kind of playing to beat. Smock. And I, I know I know what that sounds like, but he's, I, trying, I he's playing to beat his moves. Well, I, I sure hope he's trying to beat what? Smock. But <laughs> yeah, unless he, I mean, if he's trying to just give him the W, I'm sure that uh, you know, Smock will be, be a praise for it. But like he, I get what you mean. Like He's, he's trying, not trying to trade. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he's trying to win every exactly. interaction. Exactly. Take minimal damage as possible. But beca almost because of that, he's kind of losing a little momentum that he had before. It's a smart idea to play defensive, but Smock kind of whittling his way back in. Yeah, no, look, I mean, if, if you have a style, if you have a certain style and it is working, then unless you know that your opponent does, is mixing it up, hey, keep on doing it. Maybe he's catching them off guard. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's four minutes to play on the clock. Like, a lot of times people are very happy when, you know, the timer starts to tickle down. But if you got the time, ooh, that's a jump. He has bomb, but he couldn't get it off, and that's going to even this back up. Right, yeah, man, and I definitely would say it's even just because of Wolf's raw damage output. Mm -hmm. This is 43% is nothing, man. The game just started. <laughs> exactly. Look, I, I said it recently at my own weekly. Down smash exists, then down air exists. Like, you can never count Wolf out ever, even with these water blast zones on Kalos. Oh. But, you know, French Shooter, not really caring anything about that. It seems like he's getting a bit of that spice that he had in that, that second stock there, uh, that, or excuse me, the first stock. Big lead here currently on Smok. Smok has to play very, very careful. Yeah, no, he is actually using the lasers just to kind of space him out. And he is going in with like with these fares and nares to try and get the possible conversion. But Smok is actually just throwing throwing out these items in a, in a, in a way where he's just not letting uh, Smok get in. And this is so smart by him. Yeah, French Shooter, French Shooter just playing perfectly with this wall. Like, let me keep the bomb up. And, you know, you see that Smok is a little bit too... Like, he's playing passive because he doesn't want to commit. Oh, wow, that lingers so long and Smok yeah, caught off guard. That, that stood out forever. <laughs> Oh, here's, oh! oh, luckily for French Shooter, he traded because that would have gave Smok stage positioning, allowed him to go for a ledge trap setup, but for Smash just barely missing. Yeah, no, and the thing is, that this is slick, so it's not like he has any trouble killing. And I, I, he still has up throw for a kill throw. Mm -hmm. So exactly, Smok has he does to have worry. to respect that very soon. Probably another maybe five percent or so, and it should just kill outright. Or the Nair? Yes, All it right. is. Wow, He's gonna do it. Is French he, Suter taking Smok to a game three, man. You see Smok just kind of like nodding his head to the right, like, okay, all right, you got me. I don't think we're gonna see any bit of a wider. All right, we're going back to PS2. Uh, any bit of a wide stage like what just happened. I think we're probably gonna see an immediate strike to maybe a Smashville. Uh, it, yep, right on cue. Where you can see off stream there, it's Smashville and Town and City were the two uh, bands. Yeah, so no. probably. Because he doesn't want to give him space. He yeah. doesn't want to give him space. He know he he know no he now knows what uh, French Suter is capable of when he has it, when he has his space. And let me tell you, Wolf loves FD. Like we will never say no to that stage. Yeah, but, but uh, the when thing your is, opponent though, loves it, <laughs> exactly. Like as much as that stage is great for Wolf, we just saw how well French Tudor played on retreat against mm -hmm. Smock. So I think we're probably gonna be seeing Smock looking. He's contemplating right now, like maybe a Yoshi story, or I don't know so much about Lilat, but he may not want he may not want triplats because of that. Or he has Unova as well. PS2 was a good stage for him in, the, in that first game as well, but we'll see what happens. Uh, currently, no check mark on it. I, I think, think we're just still waiting. I think Unova, to be honest. I Unova think... seems like the best idea that's left on the board. You know, he gets I mean... those extra extensions off of the platform. It's perfectly spaced for Wolf. Honestly, I didn't even see what stage they picked. I'm too busy looking at the stage strikes. Didn't even pay attention which one was picked. So, Does, even, oh, oh, we're going running back to PS2. Okay. All right. Now, keep in mind, this is the first. This is the this is the stage that uh, French Shooter lost on, but mm -hmm. he now he now has adapted. Yeah. You know? And it's not even like 
like the, the match was very much in Smok's favor, but you saw the uh, like the things that French Tutor was doing differently towards the end of the game, and then that came into fruition in the second game. Probably gonna see French Tutor playing super patient in this game number three here, trying to outplay Smok. Okay, and he still has the bomb. <laughs> I just I just love the fact that he's doing all of these confirms. He's using that bomb to kind of just like. Put, put, put pressure he, on him, he, you know? Yeah, he's almost establishing like a 2v1 as yeah, like, exactly. like field. It's like I always have to pay attention to this bomb while there is a giant sword coming at my face. Like I have to respect him at all times. And Smok's already making some adjustments. It's working a little bit better, but we're still pretty much dead even. Nobody's had a super strong control so far on center stage. Yeah, I mean, this is... Ooh. Well, as soon as we say that, immediate... I believe that's match. like the first successful fourth match he's gotten too. He's consistently kept trying to go for this him, game, yeah. and he kept getting punished by the up B out of uh, French Tutor. So it's good to see that Smok didn't lose confidence in that option. He was able to get the anti air. Great air out of shield, and I like I like the patience from Smok now because you know he knows that Link wants to play this long game, but he's like, you know what? Hey, I have a full I have a full range laser too. If you want to do this, I'm in lead, so you kind of have to come to me. So at this point, it's up to French. You know, the ball's in French Tutor's court. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, trying to go for the uh, the central uh, the center stage tech chase. We get fair. a breed. I don't know why I come, said all that, but the back air not gonna connect where he was looking for it. French Tutor gonna get hit on the anti air yet again by this F smash. Trying to go back to center stage. Oh, going for a dare, but gonna get punished for it. That, that's Smock a jump off of this super well. Oh, I like the attempt because that was kind of the only way he was gonna live. But unfortunately, he didn't miss that tech. <laughs> Not gonna lie, every time I see that, it just looks so cartoony to me. Like, it reminds me of Looney Tunes. Somebody just blowing up a bomb and just flying face first into a stage. Sadly, for French Shooter, though, not gonna get the tech on it. And the very repeated game from the game one here. Three stocks up. French Shooter looking at a large deficit. And he's gotta, he really has to pick it up just to get by. Yeah, no, if you're French Tutor, like, in this situation... Oh! I like the attempt, but even if he actually did do it, I don't think French Tutor would have been dead. He wouldn't have gotten spiked hard enough. Yeah, there we go. They're finally getting the fair on the jump. French Tutor, we've, we've seen multiple comebacks throughout the day. You know, it's possible. It is one-to-one. -one. Oh, gets an up smash. What's the idea here, though? He's just trying to fade back, trying to play a little bit more defensive. But the thing is, again, like we talked about before, Smok with a stock lead up. He can afford to go in now because... Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to get the forward I, I, You know, honestly, there was a little bit of mental awareness from French, uh, from Smok at the very first stock. Remember when he got hit by that up B before, he fade, he walked just a little bit back to make sure he didn't get hit by it that time. Maybe a French shooter committed and went on stage. And I do like that French shooter is actually moving right now, actually implicating a lot of... Uh, implementing a lot of more movement in his gameplay to try and mix Smok up. And it, and, it, and it seems to be working for him. He yeah. is bringing this back slowly. On the other end of it, though, you see how Smok's just willing to play the long game. Again, you got three minutes on the clock. He's just trying to fish for one or two mistakes. Every trade is positive in his favor right now. The closer Link gets the kill percent, the better he is, even if he loses the stock. Oh, oh unfortunately, the, the bomb blew up. Yeah, the bomb betraying him. He's got to go back into center staging. That, again, going for the dare in center stage, not with an auto-cancel window. Rising with the fair, though, able to back Smok off. French shooter getting the stock. 130. He All needs right to be then. careful with smash attacks. We got a but... match, folks. Even though he's at 130, we've already seen the kill power that can come in from Link. And if he happens to, you know, play the long game, start to slowly rack up this lead, but it's... Play perfect time. One, one. Oh, there you go. Gets the roll happens. read and then gets the out smash. That's gonna be it. Smoke low. taking it two one. Low key. Helper, helper's not low. <laughs> he zoomed out before that happened. But you're forgetting yeah. that somehow, for some reason, people just fall out of Wolf's out smash now. <laughs> I mean, hey, it not that time though. Not that time. No, no, no. Uh, Wolf help, got, Wolf got perfect man. form. My man does <laughs> handstands, like straight up. He, he does. He does gymnastics. Hey, you know, you gotta have the strength to pull that off, but. You know, Wolf gonna take the W, or Smok, excuse me, gonna take the W over French Smock, Shooter. Wolf. Yeah. Game number two was They're very well played by French Shooter. Even towards the tail end of that, you know, French Shooter was starting to run it back. But all it was was just one hit away from losing, and French Shooter had to avoid it all. Smok was like, you know what? I'm in a position where if I miss, I'm not gonna take too hard of a punish. It's worth it. Let me so go for the sub smash. Yep. You jump, you roll, you're dead. And he but got it. In that in that scenario, I th you know, if it's, a, if it's a last stock scenario, the loser. Well, the losing player actually kind of has the mental advantage because at that point he knows he lost, right? Mm -hmm. So he's playing, he 